نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم الله سبحانه وتعالى he sends prophets to people and he sends them with miracles so looking at the miracles people can recognize the might of allah the reality of allah but looking at that miracle look that look has that look is of two types one is to looking at it with the intention of accepting the reality and when one is to look at that miracle as entertainment or as a, or as a, as a, as a, as a you know magic rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how many miracles he showed to the people of makkah to the mushrikeen of makkah they themselves saw the moon split into two pieces with their own eyes but they did not accept the reality he called out to the tree and the tree came to him tearing apart the land he did not accept one mushrik he came with some pebbles in his hand and he asked what is in my hand so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said you want me to tell you what is in your hand or what is in your hand you want it to tell you what is it <laughs> so that that pebbles started saying muhammad rasulullah so he 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 threw it and he said you are a magician even after watching looking at the miracles they did not change so when you look at the miracle having this intention to attain hidayat to understand the reality to bring iman in your heart then iman enters into your heart our problem is also the same Allah gave us a living miracle Quran. We're going to live until the day of judgment. Anybody from anywhere, any time and place, want to see the miracle with the intention of attaining hidayat, Allah will give him hidayat. And my dear brothers and sisters, when iman enters into one's heart, oh ho. Oh. when this reality opens up on a person then how powerful he becomes you have no idea he can go through any extent he can go to it he can go to any extent for the sake of allah when iman enters into this one's heart tonight we read that story that the magicians they came to compete with musa alaihi salam they all they are all prepared and they want they know they're going to defeat musa alaihi salam and they know what rewards are waiting for them they know the honor they are going to get imagine it's just is not just an a stadium a uh, a uh, uh, spectators are there no no the whole city is there wa ay yushar an-nas duha it's day time and the whole whole misr whole egypt is present and watching what is going on and then the competition begins that musa alaihi salatu wasalam they asked him you want us to show first or you want to show and you the game play started so musa alaihi salatu wasalam said qala bal alqu no you show you show your your trick first you show it first fa idha hibaluhum wa isiyuhum yukhayyalu ilayhi min sihrihim annaha tasa as soon they they all threw their their sticks and their ropes right as soon as it touched the ground it turned into snakes so it was not just it was not reality they just was tarhabuhum baja'u bisihrin azim you know it was what is magic 
magic is not real it just um, deceives your eyes is a deception of eyes your eyes are looking at what is not there that is what magic is fawjasa fi khafs fi nafsi khifat musa when musa alayhi salam saw this he also feared oh <laughs> what is going on what is it but who was with musa alayhi salam ah wa awhayna ila musa qulna la takhaf we said to musa don't worry don't worry don't be don't fear innaka anta al ala you going to win for sure you going to win for sure wa alqi ma fi yamin what do you have in your right hand throw it down talqafu ma sana'u inna ma sana'u kaydu sahir wa la yuflihu as-sahiru aytata you know what mufassirin has written that huge snake that uh, musa alayhi salatu salam's staff used to turn into used to be this great used to be this big that it could swallow the whole the whole uh, castle of firaun it could swallow the whole castle of firaun this huge of a snake so now the magicians they had the knowledge of magic they are knowledgeable people right they are experienced people and they had this heart of accepting if the if there is truth we going to accept right this this is the way they were looking at so when they saw this this huge of a snake and it swallowed everything in one one shot and every, every the game was all over <laughs> first strike the game is over fa ulqiya saharatu sujada out of you know can you just imagine the scene the whole city is looking at them firaun is watching the whole army is with firaun their rewards are with firaun they all have how tyrant firaun is nothing mattered to them when iman entered into their hearts they all bowed down and they said qalu amanna bi rabbi harun wa musa we believed in the rabb of harun and musa they saw the miracle they realized it they felt it now as soon they they accepted the religion they believed uh, we are all we all are so called believers also and this is these these are the belie- this is this is a person who believed after looking at the miracle so firaun said to them qala amantum lahu qabla an adana lakum you believed in them you believed in him before i gave you the permission la uqattianna aydiyakum wa arjulakum min khilaf you know what i'm going to do to you i'm going to cut your hand and leg from the opposite sides from one side hand one side feet one side leg and not only that wala usalli bannakum fi juzu'in nakhl you know when you hang someone to death you hang it with the branch right you hang it with the branch and you ha- hang it till death but what firaun said fi juzu'in nakhl i'm going to put you inside the tree and hang you there fi juzu'in nakhl he's he's going to make the tree shallow and you know, put 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 them into it now this and they knew firaun is not make firaun is not making this up <laughs> firaun is not joking there is no joke whatever he is saying he this is what he is going to do but iman entered in their hearts they felt allah they felt the reality so they said now look at the speech of those people who just brought islam they are not like us you know born muslims they are not like us you know who have seen islam since the very beginning of their lives no 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 they just came into the fold of islam now the whole ruku is just what they said they said now look at their speech what what they are telling firaun this is iman this is belief 
they said, قَالُوا لَن نُؤْثِرَكَ عَلَى مَا جَاءَنَا مِنَ الْبَيِّنَاتِ وَالَّذِي فَطَرَنَا فَقْضِ مَا أَنْتَقَاتِ Allahu Akbar. They said, we are not going to prefer you on that person who has came to us, who has come to us with legit proofs. And we are not going to prefer you over the one who has created us. فَقْضِ مَا أَنْتَقَاتِ Do whatever you can. Do whatever you want to do. Look what he, what they are saying, and look what the what what the magicians are. What these just newly believers are saying. iman takas. Iman iman gave them such power that they want to go to this extent. They they want to go through this punishment also, but they don't want to leave their belief. In nama, because they knew. Now they realized. They understood. They said in nama takdi hadhi al hayat al dunya. What, 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 what you can do? You can only cause trouble to us in this very life. In the mataqdi hadhi al hayat al dunya, and but the life here after Wallahu khairu wa abqa. The life here, these, these are they just brought Islam, and they have so much belief that they are saying you can just cause us harm here. Hereafter is going to be far better and is going to be permanent. This 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 harm you're going to cause us, this punishment you're going to give is going to be temporary. You're going to die and finish. But that hereafter is forever and ever. And then they said, "Innahu man yati rabbahu mujriman, fa inna lahu jahannam." On that day, on that on, in the life hereafter, the one who will come to Allah in a state. <coughs> In a state of crime, that he is a criminal, so in the lahu jahannam, he will be deserve. He will deserve jahannam. And what is jahannam? This is all magicians are saying. There is no Musa alayhi salam sallam talking. These are magicians. They are saying, "Fa in the lahu jahannam, la yamu tu fiha wa la yahya." Jahannam is going to be such. Neither they are going to live in it, nor they are going to die in it. No death, no life. They're gonna go so close to death, but come back to life again. <laughs> they're gonna die and come back to life again. They're gonna burn. They're gonna come back. Their, their skin gonna come. Kullama khabat zidna hum saira. Soon the fire of Jahannam will slow down. Allah will raise it again. May Allah save us. Uh, but then they say, "Wa man yatihi mu'minan qad amila salihat, fa ulai ka lahum darajat ulala." And the one who will come to Allah in a state of perfect belief and with good deeds, righteous deeds, for them there are high, high levels. They are they are they are they are gardens under which under which the, the rivers will flow. Subhanallah. And they're gonna enter into it forever and ever. Wazalika jaza uman tazaka, and this is a reward for that person who cleanses himself from kufr, from shirk, from all the bad deeds. Who is saying all of this? <laughs> the magicians just turned into Islam, but iman entered in their hearts. So, my dear brothers and sisters, Allah has also given us a living miracle. We need to open our eyes. We need to look at it. We need to ask Allah to Allah grant us this iman also. Mm-hmm. Our iman is so weak that for certain, for small, small wishes, we leave the command of Allah. Small, small wishes. I had to sleep. That's why I abandoned Fajr. <laughs> I just couldn't hold on to myself when I looked at Haram. This is my what my state is. So we need to open Quran. Imagining this, that this is a living miracle, and I need to attain hidayat. Subhanallah, because of the blessing of my phone. Wassalamu alaikum. Wassalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah.